Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be getting into some brand new Urban Decay and it is the new Game of Thrones palette. Now there's a whole collection, but when I got on <laughs> the Urban Decay site, it, everything was sold out just like immediately other than the palette, which I don't know it's okay with me because really this is the only thing that I was interested in grabbing. So this is what we have, the Game of Thrones eyeshadow palette. Does this not look like a stinking book? It is heavy, it's nice, and I'm gonna get into all of the details. I'm gonna show you guys swatches. I have two different eye looks for you guys, including this one right here, as well as this one. So you guys will see those, but before I do that, I am going to talk about the details. Now, this is currently sold out on the Urban Decay website, but it will be coming to Sephora. It will be available online at Sephora on April 29th, and then it will be in stores May 2nd. Like I mentioned, this bad boy is hefty. It means business. It's going to take up some space in your collection and it retails for $65. Now this has a lot of different things with it. So it looks like a book. Like I said, it has Game of Thrones, Urban Decay on the front and on the side and on the back it has the HBO whatever whatever. Then on the side, I love the, the map on this. I just think it's so pretty. You open this little drawer right here for the palette, but before I do, I want to show you this. You get a large mirror right here, and then you also have this. It says Lannister Targaryen. Bar yeah, I'm going to mess up the word, so we have a little reading right here then you open this up and it's it's so extra you've got the throne and then never forget what you are the rest of the world will not wear it like armor and it can never be used to hurt you Tyrion Lannister put this guy back down and let's pull out the palette so this you can use just all by itself. And as you can see, there's four different sections, each with five different shadows. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the swatches. <laughs> and I've, I'm gonna do my best with the names. I've watched maybe three seasons of this. I'm not a huge Game of Thrones kind of person. It's hard for me to get into because there's just so much going on and I'm a multitasker, so I don't know. I, just, I have a hard time getting into it, but do not kill me in the comment section if I butcher some of these names. But I'm going to go column by column and show you guys the swatches. So first, I'm going to start off with this little blue section. We have Take the Black, Frozen North, White Walker, Free Folk, and Hard Home. Next, we have Nymeria, Weirwood Leaves, Winter is Here, The Sight, and Winterfell. Red Keep. House Lannister, Casterly Rock, Lannister Red, and King's Landing. And then the very last one, Dornborn, Dothraki, House Targaryen, Bend the Knee, and Bay of Dragons. There is a whole description on the Urban Decay website, but I'm just going to read this top part to you. It says, use this arsenal of 20 eyeshadow shades to declare your allegiance to House Targaryen, House Lannister, House Stark or to defeat the White Walkers. Obviously this is going to be limited edition and now there's also a vault so if you're interested in getting everything from the collection which includes I believe some eyeliners, there is a highlighting palette, uh, lipsticks, just everything, you can get that at Sephora. It's $250. It says it's a $347 value. Again that's coming soon so so just keep an eye out for that. I imagine that's probably going to go pretty quickly for huge Game of Thrones fans. So make sure you keep a watch out. Now it's time to go ahead and get into both of the eye looks. I'm going to start off with the one that I am wearing and then we'll move on to the other. For today's look, I'm using a Wayne Goss number 18 and the shade Nymeria to go on the outer corner, crease, and transition area. I'm blending this upward and I'm bringing it all the way to the inner corner area. Same shade on a Wayne Goss number 20. I'm running that along the lower lash line and just back and forth windshield wiper motions. To smoke out the outer corner, I'm taking the shade 
Weirwood leaves on a Sonia G crease pro. Focusing that on the outer corner, bringing it upward as well as halfway into the crease. But really, I want to make sure that I really smoke out the outer portion of the eye with this shade. I'm going to take that same shade on the lower lash line on the outer half on a Wayne Goss number 27S. Again, just going back and forth to blend it in. Next, I'm going in with the site on an Esam S33 and bringing that on the front part of the crease and blending it out. I'm also going to take my time and make sure that I blend it into the last shade I did so that everything is nice and seamless. Same shade again on a MAC 219 on the front portion of the lower lash line. For the lid, I'm using one of my favorite shades, Winterfell, on an Esam W21, packing and swiping that all over the lid, all the way up to the crease, but not passing the crease area because I don't want to cover up what I have done. King's Landing on a MAC 242 to highlight the brow arch, and then House Targaryen on a Royal and Lang Nickel BOM 435 to highlight the inner corner. And I'm just using a small amount of this. I don't want it to be too blingy. I just want to have just like a hint of a different color on the inner corner. Then to finish off this look, I use Boss on the inner rim from Milk and then just Mascara. Moving on to this winged look, I'm starting with a Zoeva 227 and House Lannister. I'm starting on the outer corner and then working it upwards into the crease and into the transition area. I build this shade up just a little bit. Same brush and the shade Nymeria. Again, I'm placing that on the outer corner and into the crease to add just a little bit of depth. Casterly Rock on a Wayne Goss number 19. I'm starting that on the outer corner and then working it into the crease halfway. I don't want to bring this all the way in because I want the majority of the color and the focus to be on the outer portion of the eye. Same brush, but I'm now picking up Lannister Red and I'm tapping that on the outer V, not completely covering up the last shade that I laid down. And then I'm also bringing it halfway onto the lid. So as I get the majority of the color on the very outermost part of the eye, I am tapping the excess and bringing it halfway in for a nice blend. MAC 242, King's Landing, and I'm going to use that to highlight the brow arch. I really love this shade. On a Sonia G Pencil Pro and the shade Red Keep, I'm taking that to the lower lash line in back and forth motions. And then lastly, I'm again going in with King's Landing on a MAC 228 to highlight the inner corner. Now, as you can see, I used winged liner to finish off this look, boss milk liner on the inner rim, and then mascara. Now for my thoughts on the palette, I actually think this is really pretty. I like the way that they did this. I think I would be more excited about it if I was really into Game of Thrones, but I'm not. I will mention there are only one, two, three true mattes in here, which is this shade here, this one, and this one. This black shade up top actually has like a little bit of sparkle to it. It's going to go on the lid like a matte, but it does have those sparkles that unless you put some kind of sticky base to your eye, it's not going to actually stay. You won't see those sparkles, but it's not a true matte because of that. Everything else in here is either metallic or has some kind of sheen. Now there's a few shades that I find to be a little bit questionable, and that would be Bay of Dragons. This one is pretty chunky. Um, I think you're going to have to really work this in, use it on an unset eye, or use it wet, It's or you're going to get a little bit of fallout. I did get some fallout with the looks that I created, but I really felt like it was it was pretty good. Like I was impressed. White Walker up here. This is a really pretty like shifty shade. If you guys can see. I like that one a lot, but it is going to require some building up if you want it to be intense. Other 
otherwise I would use this more as like an inner corner brow highlight or for like a halo eye I think would be really pretty and I absolutely love bend the knee I've been talking about this type of shade a lot I just love the purple duochromes like though it just really gets me but everything performed really well the mattes blended out beautifully all the shadows that I put on my eye I had no issues with so I have to tell you that obviously I haven't used everything in the palette but my first impression second impression is that this is a really good palette now will I keep this Probably not. I'm not going to return it, but I'm likely going to give this to somebody who is more interested and really loves Game of Thrones because <laughs> one bad thing about this is that it is so large. Now, if I really was into Game of Thrones, I would make space for it. Kind of like Jessica Rabbit over here. We making space for her, but I'm, I'm just not super into it. it. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I'm just not. So I'm probably going to gift this to a friend, but I do think that the shadows in here perform well. If you are interested in this palette, it is worth it if you like Game of Thrones. Otherwise, if it's just for the shadows, I would rather have something like the Born to Run palette, and I will show you these side by side, if I'm just talking about shadows. And like I said, I still have to say that the shadows in here are beautiful, and there's definitely some shades that I really love. Let me mention those really quickly. I love this shade right here, King's Landing. That's what I have on my brow arch right now. And Winterfell, beautiful. And I really liked House Lannister as well. But anywho, let me show you guys these side by side. There you go. You got them side by side. So there's some differences and there's some similarities. So you guys, it would be up to you to decide if you needed both of them. Anywho, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on the palette as well as the tutorials. Let me know down below if you are going to be picking this up if you're a huge Game of Thrones fan or if you just like the shades and you decided you wanted to grab it just for the palette inside. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!